the amount of time. <laughs> Coach Simmons here. Before let y'all know something, I told y'all before, it's only a matter of time before the fun goes away, right? We finally figured out who is urging Congress to go ahead and change the NIL deals. According to Dallas Morning News, the TCU Athletic Director is urging Congress to change the athletic uh, deals with the NIL, as well as um, Ohio State AD Gene Smith, Heisman Trophy winner Gino Toretta, Madeline Salomon, and Vice President of College Football Players Association. <sighs> Smith and Toretta also talked about the need for action. They criticized the folks on NIL deals that a distraction for athletes who have been abused by their coaches. <laughs> TCU, which reported half, I mean half, of their athletes have NIL deals, is requesting a change. And of course, Cancun Cruz, Cruz, sorry, down in Texas, you know Ted Cruz, is more than willing to jump on front of this. A former baseball player, TCU Williams, recalled the $10 monthly stipend he and other players received on top of their scholarship more than half a century ago. What would he call laundry money? says a far cry from the millions of dollars involved with today's NIL deals. Williams, the athlete, he doesn't begrudge today's athletes for his opportunities. He said without transparency, it's difficult to know who is working on their best interest. He cited horror stories of athletes being coerced and assigned to deal with massive commissions. The complex free, a fee structure designed to confuse the signer, i.e., we want to know who's giving you money. We want to know who to get taxes from. Even Democrats, uh, Democrat uh, Nadia Vasquez of New York said that even modest NIL deals can allow athletes of color to start saving money and building generational wealth. But she voiced concern that so-called booster collectors are steering the largest deals to top male athletes in football and basketball. Booster collectors who often coordinate individual schools can be can undermine the gender quote-unquote equality process. <sighs> what do they want to change? Well, this article will be linked as well as the one I had yesterday. But this is the main deal. We want to know who's giving you money, why they're giving you money, and we want to have them linked to universities. So we know if somebody is steering you away from a major program. On top of that, remember that thing about the three-year transfer rule? Well, you can't, cannot transfer from a school unless you have been there three years, which means only juniors can transfer or red shirt sophomores can transfer. And if you transfer to an FBS school from, a, from FBS to FBS, only do it one time. And to make it better, this is where Jackson State comes into the picture. If you transfer down to the FCS, you can't transfer back up. That's why the whole three-year rule is in effect. Yeah, you can transfer with no restrictions. No waiting out a year. None of that stuff. But if you go down to HBCU land, you can't come back up. Which basically would have meant everyone of those players, Coach Prime got from Colorado, that came from Jackson State, would not be eligible to play. Would not be eligible to come up to the FBS. So, see, the thing is, I told y'all from day one, what Coach Prime was doing at Jackson State 
and what all FCS schools need to do is attack the depth. At first, you're not going to get the four or five star players that are going to be the starters at Alabama. But you get those four and five star players who are going to ride the bench at Alabama and Auburn and Georgia. They're going to wait three years. Get them to come down to HBC. Get them to come down to FCS. But now, <laughs> they see what you're doing. They see the playbook. They say, okay, you can go ahead and convince those kids to transfer down there if you want to after three years of riding the bench at Alabama. But they got to understand something. If they are red shirt sophomores going down there, hoping to play one year and come back up, it ain't happening. This is what they're trying to do. It's all about the money. Like I told y'all yesterday, the same dudes who are giving the NILs, the boosters for these schools down in the South, are the same boosters who are paying for these congressmen and congress ladies in here in the South. How else can you get 60 votes in con in uh, the Senate? You only need 50, 51. You got 60. Democrats and Republicans ready to sign this thing. Because it's one thing you're voting on something big as far as like gun control, abortion, whatever. But it's another thing, your alma mater or the guy that's paying your contracts, quote unquote, under the table, he's losing money because his school is barely beating USF. Think about it. You have Tommy Tuberville, former Auburn head coach and Democrat Manchin sponsoring the bill, being fronted by Ted Cruz. If that ain't the devil, I don't know what is. Good luck, y'all. Cole Simmons, I'm out.